Okay, finally, um, let me show you something else. The, um, here's a, an equation that has almost an obvious answer when you look at it. y double prime plus y equals to zero. And what's the solution to this problem? Well, the solution is y equals to um, cosine of t plus sine of t. Now, I often use y as a function of t for time because often we apply these two problems that involve time. So it could be x, could be t. Um, if I think it could apply to time, I'll, I'll use t instead of x. But anyway, if you think about this, the, the first derivative is minus sine t plus cosine t. The second derivative is uh, minus cosine t minus sine t which ends up being the negative of, of the function. So the second derivative equals the negative of the function. If we plug it in here, everything is going to cancel. We'll get zero. So this function is a solution to that differential equation, isn't it? Well, now it gets a little better. I can also multiply by constants here. C1, C2, C1, C2. And it's still a solution to that problem. And so the most general solution to this equation would be y equals to a constant C1 times cosine t plus another constant C2 times the sine of t. Very easy to confirm that this also is a solution. And um, now this is, this is typical. Second order differential equation, when we solve it, may give us two constants. And why are we getting two constants? Well, think about that intuitively. In order to undo a derivative, we've got to integrate. And we'll have to integrate twice, in a sense, to solve this problem. And so uh, that introduces two um, constants of integration. Now, um, suppose, however, this problem came with some, some boundaries. For example, the initial position, position is described by y at t, the initial position when time is zero, suppose it's one, just to use a real simple number. And suppose that the initial speed or velocity, which is the first derivative, is zero. Okay, now I've got, um, I got a new situation here, because now I've imposed initial conditions or restrictions on this differential equation. And, um, and so that, in, in applications, that would be a pretty normal thing to do because this solution was a very general solution. However, specifically to this problem, I may have some other information to put into that problem. So now I've got a differential equation, second order, linear, homogeneous differential equation with initial conditions. And now I've got to figure out what C1 and C2 are. And so the, um, I'll keep the first derivative. I'm going to rewrite a little more clearly here. It was minus C1 sine of t plus C2 cosine of t. I'm going to plug these initial conditions in here. So y, the first equation, y at 0 is C1 cosine of 0 plus c2 sine of 0. And the second derivative, y prime of 0, is minus c1 sine of 0 plus c2 cosine of 0. Incidentally, this problem describes a very simple uh, harmonic motion, like orbiting around in a circle, spinning in a circle. Um, just Thought I'd throw that in there. All right, this does represent a, um, a situation that, that's kind of easy to describe. All right, now back to here. The cosine of zero is one. The sine of zero is zero. So the sine parts will cancel. And y at zero is equal to one. And y prime at zero is equal to zero. 
Again, initial position was one, initial velocity was zero. So when you look here, you say, well, okay, well, C1 equals to one, and C2 has to be equal to zero. So the initial conditions allowed me to solve for these initial constants, and now I have a particular solution to the problem, not a general solution, but a particular solution to this problem is y equals to 1 cosine of t plus 0 sine t. In other words, it's just cosine of t. So with this restriction on the problem, my solution is now somewhat more restricted. y equals cosine of t is the solution to this, to this differential equation. Okay, so there you go. That um, kind of runs the gamut of the uh, types of um, how we classify differential equations, ordinary differential equations. Um, there are more classifications as we go along. We'll look at separable differential equations, Bernoulli type equations. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them. And uh, the textbook is um, divided up into chapters, and the chapters are divided up into lessons. So I'll be referring to lessons rather than sections. And, um, and we'll tackle those as we, uh, as we go along here. So. Um, next video, I want to um, kind of get you off on a good start by just solving um, a simple application. And uh, so, and then we'll get into the textbook and uh, start studying the, those problems a little more formally.